Evening, everybody. Sunday evening. Look, really looking forward to hopefully seeing some of you tomorrow for our Christmas beach lunch. Uh, pray that the weather's okay. It's, uh, it's all going to be okay, I think. And I uh, hope you've got your secret Santa ready. Um, the kitchen is a bit of a mess uh, behind here, um, but everything is okay now, and uh, hopefully it'll be something yummy for somebody tomorrow. Um, don't forget, 12 noon, we're going to meet in those three places down at Boscombe. Uh, just near the pier there. Uh, we're going to meet at the beach hut in Bournemouth. Keep yourself separated if you're going there. And at, at Vesuvio's in Poole, let us know if uh, the email you saw last week hasn't got the venue that is the right one for you. Um, bring a spade if you're going to the Bournemouth one particularly. And uh, we'll make sure everybody gets some lunch. And uh, bring a chair probably as well to, get, to be able to sit on the beach. Um, just to let you know, we'll soon have a new team member. So next year we'll have one extra person. We're looking forward to having Rachel as the number two in Wimborne Food Bank to help Sharon with all the stuff that's amazing that's going on there. So we're really glad that Rachel's going to join the team. Um, I wanted to say thank you. We, we have, I don't know whether you know, but the trustees have a safeguarding subgroup and that meant on Friday. And it's just great to go through the stuff that we've done this year. It may seem a small thing, but we've really upped our game. So I thank you for that. Risk assessments nearly across the board now. Now we've got that we're going to have some little audits just to make sure we're on with that but it's looking good um, we we've actually seen an increase in the number of safeguarding incidents but that's a good thing because I think there's more confidence in reporting those and one of them is, is really interesting that though it appeared to be maybe a difficult conversation with someone at one of the food banks actually they came back and said thank you so much for having that conversation because it actually meant that I got the help that I needed and it just shows the underlining importance of sometimes it is the right thing to do, or it's always the right thing to do to report it. So if you're not sure, if there's in any doubt, but it doesn't quite feel right, then just escalate it up to your line manager or to Claire or myself. It's, uh, it's such an important area, but thank you for making a difference in that. This week, there's loads of stuff coming on. Um, we're going to uh, try and get our newsletter out. So Ruth's finishing off a lovely little film to sort of show us all that we've been doing this year to get out to people. Um, we're going to probably try and get a little press release ready to, to tell people what's going on at, at Christmas. And linked to that, you'll see that there is a council newsletter. I'm going to attach it to the email, email version of this. There's a council newsletter. Um, new press release rather which just highlights all the different support that is out there at the moment and obviously we play a real part in that through through all the things that we do um, thank you for those of you who've been writing volunteer cards finishing those off getting seeds into into the envelopes that we're going to send to each of our volunteers so George are doing that on Friday thank you so much I know there were a lot you had to do uh, bless you all for doing that it's great to see all the smile stuff the cook bags so many presents there in the training room of course you could see it training room is full of presents that have been labelled with different people's names. Some of these presents may be for mums and it may be from the child and it may be the only present that the mum gets this year. So just terrific stuff you guys are doing there. Um, got the food bank hampers going out and some of those hampers are actually equipment. We've managed to get a, a, some grants and the different food banks are sending out cooking equipment, cooking utensils, which otherwise would, people wouldn't have anything to, to cook food over Christmas with. So that's amazing. Stay Safe continues particularly good to see one guest who's been coming to that. She's managed to get into some housing in the last few days. And Claire Holly, we respect you so much. Thank you for all the work you're doing to make that happen. Uh, second recovery day this coming week. Last week, it went really well. Good start. Shame it was a bit chilly, but hopefully the heating will be on this week. Uh, and, and actually, we had some news hopefully over the weekend that we're going to confirm that we've got some money. There's a, there's a project with Love, Love Church nationally with Holy Trinity Brompton and the Love Your Neighbour Network, and we've got some funds. So we're going to be able to get a little Christmas blessing, as they call it, out to every, not only uh, the clients we're working with in uh, the homeless world, but actually also to some of those we're working with a debt advice, maybe getting a voucher to them so that they can be blessed this Christmas as well. Really is a time when we're seeing so much of your work. I know it's been working so hard, and I'm really grateful for that. But I pray that at next week, as you get towards Christmas, you'll be able to have that little break. And I pray in all of this, just have that moment to reflect. God is with you. And this is the God we're talking about. Don't forget back in Isaiah, you have this verse. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So in all you do, I pray that you will know the Prince of Peace. Have some peace this week. Bless you so much for all you're doing. Hope to see some of you on the beach tomorrow and otherwise we'll talk to many of you during the week. Take care of yourselves.